This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now a little bit outside of Berlin at an Ionti Charger and behind me here you see the Volkswagen ID7. Man, am I excited to test this car. I've been driving now for over an hour. I recorded already a video. This one comes a little bit late because of some embargoes, but we've been hammering on, on the Autobahn and just want to see, ah, okay. Uh, I don't know if this is the, okay, this is a 77 kilowatt hour net capacity or the 82 kilowatt hour gross capacity battery. Uh, but you know, Volkswagen, they have two variants. You have the one in the ID5 GTX. That one has the, the fast, the 185 kilowatt uh, version that can peak at 185, but then it has like a high peak, but then drops faster. And then there is the 135 kilowatt version that has a flatter curve. Uh, for the rear wheel drive ID5, for example. Um, but here, I'm not sure <laughs> because we started at 40, no, at almost 40%, 37%. But it could seem like this is the, the flat curve variant. Yeah. So, but eventually ID7 will come out with an even bigger battery. It will be a 92, I think it was 86 kilowatt hour gross capacity and 92 kilowatt hour. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, what was again 86 net 92 gross something like that but yeah and uh, one new feature i guess with the id7 is that the charge port has been changed so it now goes upwards hmm you know it used to be like a lid i was trying to open it the old way but uh, uh okay so there is no button to stop charging here there's a light here maybe this is better for uh winter or yeah you know um it kind of covers up for the snow, maybe. Maybe you need to have that sock for uh, for uh, covering. Typically, you have to, yeah, the, the, I call it the butt plug. Um, but okay, so interesting. And then charge port is on the right side with the wrong side. Should be left side with the right side. <laughs> but okay, let's look here. So yeah, it goes, okay, slowly now. It could be that the battery is not in optimal temperature. It's roughly uh, 13 degrees Celsius outside. And we've been hammering, on, hammering it, so yeah. But um, I guess we will have a little lunch now. We can check inside, by the way. The latest and greatest version now shows you charging speed in kilowatt. So you just enter the car, online mode, and then, okay, uh, whatever here, and then agree. And then here, you see, huh, what the heck? Oh, yeah, 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 of course, oh, yeah. So yeah, it looks like this. You can see that we are charging at 123 kilowatt, and it estimates that we'll finish in half uh, 35 minutes we'll finish so yeah uh, i guess it's time for some lunch but just want to test some charging charging speed here I, I might hang around a little bit more just to get an impression of how it is but it charges uh, relatively fast look at this i mean even at 47 percent we're taking 120 kilowatt this is on par with uh, many many other cars nowadays so yeah um and the plan now is to do a range test yeah, we'll, but it doesn't matter really. We can stop with 100% or whatever. But uh, I, I guess we would just... I, I came to Deutschland to have some schnitzel or something. Uh, if they have Jäger schnitzel over there, oh, then I'll be happy. I'm getting hungry right now. Hungry for food and hungry for car testing. Okay, so now uh, we are doing the 90 test. Uh, unfortunately, it started raining, but whatever, you know, you can, we can just extrapolate that. Uh, if it's wet, then you can expect better result. Plus that this this prototype might not have the best um, consumption so we can expect that it's going to be also slightly better unfortunately we're also running out of time because we have to get back to the airport <laughs> had very limited time here but okay so what we're going to do is to um, uh, set a cruising speed here let me say it like this okay so i'll be cruising at oh yeah i forgot it has the um, it might have that automatic uh, speed limit uh, adjustment thing. Huh. It says, please pay attention to the road. There, is there a camera somewhere here? Watching my eyes. Okay, but, but all right. Because um, I was looking at the, the head of display and uh, not directly there. And then supposedly... I don't think you can catch the... the... Okay. Okay, I can try here. Okay. Yeah, uh, I, you can see the head of display here, but um, 
there was something uh, I'm looking for some blinking stuff here but yeah okay whatever the, <laughs> um, not sure how the car detected that I was not paying attention right I was not looking there I was looking there and <laughs> it bugged me but look you can see how um, how wet it gets on the road now so um, we can expect that uh, on on dry road it could possibly be 10% better consumption than this so we are now just cruising at 93 kilometers per hour we will u-turn here and then go back and take a little loop and we will at least get some impression of how it is and remember that this car is a prototype so it might not have the best um, the best uh, consumption uh, and also I have uh, two other adults with me normally when I do these range tests I will be driving alone so which means that we have roughly I don't know, 150 kilograms of extra stuff here. I mean, I mean, uh, people. <laughs> but there was, it might also be a little bit extra equipment since it's a prototype. So just bear that in mind. But uh, we just want to get some kind of numbers here. So let's see. And now I just have to draw. Uh, so it's not ideal, and this will not be maybe equal to the the regular test I do. So it's just like a like a little uh, like a little impression or like a little test to see. What kind of ballpark are we talking about? Yeah, okay. So now we just U turn here and then we get back to the Autobahn. So this one, though, it's similar to when I drive those um, 90 tests. I still have to drive a while and then U turn and then typically also U turn again or something. So, yeah, except for that, we have now a somewhat short loop, which in general means that we have. Oh, you had to go on that side, right? Yeah, my bad. You have to go on this side to U-turn. I mean to, yeah. Is that correct? So yes. I don't get lost? Okay. Yes. Yeah, I have a local uh, dude with me here, a, a local German, so that's good. So I don't uh, pull a James May and get, end up in the wrong direction. <laughs> but you see here, we have a slight disadvantage because we kind of need to stop for traffic. Okay, no, we are lucky with that one. Okay. So, and I also use, e I, I use um, comfort mode right now. So it, it shouldn't matter too much for these kind of driving situations comfort or eco mode so um, uh, maybe eco mode would be slightly stingier on um, on HVAC but then since it's raining it, it could maybe also cause some fogging so but whatever so right now the consumption is 174 watt hour per kilometer that's actually not too bad considering the road is wet and the car is kind of full with people okay so uh, let me see. Let me just set uh, cruising. I haven't checked the GPS speed, but I think it, we should be at 90 kilometers per hour GPS speed now. Uh, we have to cruise at 93. Like this. Okay, so now we just drive a little loop. Right, we will actually end it here. It's kind of short test, but uh, it should be good enough because we started on uh, the other side. So we're on the same elevation. And the wind should be kind of cancelled out. It's kind of slow anyway, since we are driving slow. So this should already give us uh, an okay indication. Is that the Toyota B set? Yeah, there, there is. Okay, okay. Let me see. Where can I stop? Uh, well, we can just go over here, I guess. Or, or let's stop here. Yeah, this should be a good enough test, like ish. Okay, let me see. If I just park there, and then we look at um, the. Oh, look at that. Okay. 161 watt hour per kilometer which means that i think when it's dry and not loaded with people we might be uh, getting like 150 something watt hour per kilometer hmm that's not too bad okay now we will try to do 120 test i'm not sure how good it will be um but just to get uh, also an idea of what kind of ballpark we are in let's see now we just have to get over here so you see there's Unfortunately, there's a lot of uh, uh, slow driving. Um, well, oh, you go here. Right? Oh, this one. Okay, okay. Yeah, he knows this place. Good. So, and also, I'm not sure about the traffic, but we have three lanes in each direction on this stretch, which is good. Yeah, I'm driving. Okay. The the beeping you hear is um, uh, speed limit warning. <laughs> I think you can disable that. Uh, so yeah, I went a little bit over the speed limit, and that's why it's beeping at me. Okay, check there, that's fine, okay. So now we will try to cruise 120 uh, if it's possible. This is an unrestricted zone, I think. Oh, is that Stau? Uh oh, uh oh. I'm not sure if that is Stau, because if that is Stau, then we might have to cancel it. Okay. 
Okay, so trying to cruise at 120 now. But I can see it's a little bit tricky. Okay. There was a there was a warning for Stau, or I mean uh, a little bit of congestion. Yeah. Well, actually, I think this is good enough. Uh, we will probably just head for the airport. I think uh, it's just a little bit too messy, but at least the the 90 test gives like a baseline on what you can expect, and we can always guess that if it averages around 150 watt hour per kilometer, maybe even better. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, then the 120 test should be something like 200, 100, 180 to 200 watt hour per kilometer. So, um, yeah, I guess eventually I need to test this properly in Norway. But um, at least now we give you guys some impressions of how it is. I mean, it's not, it's not going to be a perfect test anyway, since this is a prototype and not everything has been finalized. But yeah, so by the way, let me see. We have to watch. Okay, we have to turn this one, right? Yes. For the airport. Okay. Yeah, so let's go over there. But um, yeah, anyway, um, it was just a short test. <laughs> I was dying to know how it was, but at least what we find out is that when you cruise at those speeds, um, we have 150 something, right? And not 200 something watt hour per kilometer. So that's kind of important so to figure out roughly how much you have. So I would say that um, I get the impression that this is a, a fairly efficient car. And also when I did the Autobahn run, when I mean, we are on Autobahn, but when I did the high speed run at 180 kilometers per hour sprints and stuff, uh, the battery didn't drain like crazy. So that also gives me an impression that um, the car is uh, fairly efficient. So um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.